The Big Brothers Big Sisters program is known for being the oldest and most successful youth mentoring program in the United States. It started as two independent ideas. Ernest Coulter, who founded the Big Brothers movement in 1904, and a group of members from a program called the Catholic Big Sisters joined their two group to form a renowned one-on-one -on -one youth mentoring program that would seek to help the weary youth strive for their goals and produce fruit for the future. What started in New York over a century ago is now a renowned youth mentoring program with foundations in all 50 states and in 12 different countries around the world. I'm Chelsea Whitfield for Spotlight on Community. Today we'll be talking with Dr. Amy Masnick, a professor at Hofstra University. Her specialty is in child development and we'll be talking about how Big Brothers Big Sisters or any mentoring program benefits a child as they grow. Dr. Masnick, as you know, Big Brothers Big Sisters is an extremely popular and developed mentoring program. What is your general feel on mentoring programs in the U.S.? I think that programs like Big Brothers Big Sisters can be really wonderful assets to a lot of children. They can be extremely helpful. Mentoring programs in all kinds of ways can, can benefit children and they can benefit the people who do the mentoring as well. What are some important elements in a child's development? That's a really broad question. There are a lot of different elements in child's development. Um, but there are cognitive elements, so learning how to think and reason and develop problem-solving skills. There are also social elements, learning how to interact with other people. And sometimes those, inter um, those overlap each other so that learning how to interact with other people also becomes, in some ways, sometimes a problem-solving um, issue as well. Um, and there's also, early on, there's physical development issues. So kids need access to opportunities to develop all of those different skills by interacting with peers, interacting with adults, um, and getting appropriate educational um, supports and, and training and schooling. So do you feel like those supports are there for that kind of effective development? Um, they are for many children, but they're not for every child, and I think that that's one of the places where the Big Brother Big Sister program plays a big role. Okay, well, let's take a quick break from this very informative interview, and we'll take an inside look on what an active Big Sister does and the rewarding aspects of joining this program. The Big Brothers Big Sisters program at Hofstra meets every Wednesday afternoon. Today, they've come out to the ropes course to play games and release pent-up energy. The games they play help them develop trust, friendship, and teamwork skills. In one game, Biggs and Little share facts about themselves to make other people move. Another game tests teamwork, coordination, and balance. Then there are games that are just plain fun. The final activity today is an epic journey up a 25-foot giant ladder. A qualified instructor teaches both bigs and littles how to put on a harness and a helmet. Then, in groups of three, the littles climb up the ladder, receiving support from belay groups and each other. When everyone has had a chance to climb, the meeting ends, and the kids hop on the bus to go home until next week. In short, the Big Brothers Big Sisters of America program exists to bring happiness and positivity into children's lives. By the looks on these kids' faces, they've succeeded. Welcome back. We're talking with Dr. Masnick on Spotlight on Community. So as we saw from the short video, Little and Bigs become very close throughout the years. Do you think that there might be a separation issue if a Big can no longer commit to volunteering? I think that could be an issue. I would hope that there are supports involved in the program to help people deal with that on both ends and that most people who agree to volunteer can commit to doing it for at least a good stretch of time. So do you think that this would be worse than no relationship at all? 
No, I don't think that. Um, I think that a good mentoring relationship that lasts for even a, several months or a few years would be very, can be very beneficial. Recently, there have been many cases in the news about mentors who have had other agendas with these innocent children. Do you know if there's any screening for people who want to volunteer as bigs? Yes, the Big Brother, it is a, it's a real concern, and the Big Brother Big Sister program does require criminal background checks of everyone who um, volunteers to be a Big Brother or a Big Sister, which is unfortunately an important thing that they need to do. They also do a screening interview and require references, so they do um, a lot of screening. Do studies show that littles or other children who had a strong leader in their life do better in society once they're older? Yes, they do. Um, that especially when children don't have that stability and a role model at home, then having it in, in any other form, as long as you have a, a, good, a good adult role model who's there, can be really beneficial. So overall, do you believe that the relationship between a big and a little is rewarding to both? Yes, I think so. I think that many people will talk about how they found it to be a rewarding activity on both ends, both the mentors and the, the mentees, the children who are part of the program. Okay, well thank you Dr. Masnick for joining us today on Spotlight on Community. We hope that our discussion has encouraged you to volunteer for a mentoring program and to get more involved in your community. If you'd like to find out more about the Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, you can log on to www.bbbsa.org.